Hey guys, welcome back to another video with HP Tuners. Today we're going to show you how to use the Gear Entire Wizard. This special function will calibrate the speedometer and or scale the transmission tables to adjust for a new gear ratio or tire size. So if you've thrown on some beefy tires on your Jeep for rock crawling or some bigger and more capable all-terrains on your truck, this tool is the final step to dial in your new wheel and tire setup. Please know that this special function is currently only available for most GM vehicles up to 2018 model year and most Jeep, Dodge, and Ram vehicles from 2007 to 2022. You can check if your vehicle has access to this special function by opening the Special Functions tab in VCM Scanner. Let's get into it. Step one is open VCM Scanner or VCM Editor and make sure you are updated to the latest version. To check that, once you launch the program, you can go to the Help menu and then under about, it'll check. And if you need an update, you can go ahead and download that update. So we're gonna go ahead and update VCM scanner to the latest. Step two is connect to the vehicle. If you're in the vehicle you want to adjust, connect to the vehicle by clicking the car button here, this icon. Obviously, make sure your interface is plugged into the vehicle and then USB cable is connected to your laptop. Same thing for VCM editor. Once you're connected, you can move on to step three. So step three is open gear entire wizard. If you're in VCM scanner, you're gonna click on the green button right here. If we were connected to a vehicle, it would light up green. And then you would go to the speedometer tab all the way to the right and click gear entire adjustment. And this window will appear. If you're in VCM editor, you click on the edit menu in the top right here and go to gear entire wizard and you'll see the gear entire wizard will pop up on the screen. Step four, you're going to calculate and enter the new values. At this point, you will enter your new tire size and or gear ratio values. For tire size, the value you'll enter is the height of the new tires, and it must be entered in inches. The easiest way to calculate this value is by using our tire size calculator under tools, unit conversion in the main menu bar, or you can hit control U for quick access. I'm going to do a quick demonstration right now. We'll hit control U to launch the unit conversion tool. And right here, tire size calculations. Let's just say I have 325, 55R, make them 18s. Here you'll see tire height is calculated at 32.1 inches. Close that out. We can launch our gear and tire wizard again. I'll put in 32.1. Gear ratio, let's say we're going to keep it at 4, 410. And then that right there is how you'd use the calculator to figure out value. If your tire size has not changed, enter the current value seen in the left column. For the gear ratio, simply enter the new value too. If your ratio has not changed, then again, enter the current value shown in the left column. Normally, this function will automatically determine a multiplier for scaling the transmission tables that maintain similar shift RPMs, also known as auto scale. If you want to manually enter a different multiplier, you need to adjust to manual scale in the upper right-hand corner that little radio button right there, and now you can change the multiplier, put a new value in the box. If you don't want to enter a different multiplier, leave it at auto scale, which is the default. So now we've finished putting in our new tire size, gear ratio, you've chosen auto scale or manual scale. Next is step five, adjust. The last and easiest step is just click the adjust button. And once you're done, you get a success message. It says adjustment complete, hit okay, and you're done. If you have any problems with this special function, please reach out to our expert support team by clicking the link in the description box below. They will help you out. Thanks for tuning into this quick tutorial on the super simple and handy gear and tire wizard function. Comment below what tutorials you guys want to see next and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and you click the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications on our new video tutorials and tuning knowledge using our hardware and software.